to this other video that I also want to show you where it says Tom Segura explains how workers are refusing to return to the office is causing commercial real estate um, to crash. <laughs> oh, Tom Segura defending a fucking landlords. You got to love it in it, right? Commercial real estate owners. This is fucking incredible lack of self-awareness, um, lack of understanding of the plight of the common man and puts into very much perspective that rant that Tom Segura had against his poor fans who were annoying him because they felt like he wasn't relatable anymore. This is an incredibly, incredibly redacted take. But listen to Tom Segura essentially fighting the good fight for commercial real estate owners. It is fucking incredible. Commercial real estate is upside down in this country. Is it? Yes. You know why? Why? Because people don't want to go to offices still right. anymore. Yeah, they, won't, still. they want to do remote work. They, they want, want to do work remote work. Pajamas and jerk off. So the people who, if you have these big commercial buildings, I mean, they the it used to be like this huge... Uh, asset to own this commercial real estate and now mm. it's like a liability because mm. you have empty offices dude you have empty offices all over the country and you can't fill them up mm. you can't force people then there's companies that have just i know somebody that owns a company that said we he goes i like a lot of people goes i wanted people to come here i want them in the office and he was met with like su such total resistance because i just realized i had to allow it like if, if we were going to continue to operate wow so he he just gave in to his employees going no we don't want to do that wow yeah and it's a sizable operation he has wow so people just say no i want to work at home yeah and they're like and i've been working and i'm effective and and to a degree they are like in his case they're correct like, he's like you know the work was getting done i just prefer to have everybody operating the way we normally had but he was like everybody was like no i used to i i, I had to i used to do an hour and a half commute every day i don't want i, did, I haven't done that now in two years i don't want to do it again mm. and then he had to go like okay as long as they're <laughs> disciplined and as long as they're actually effective I could see that. But I then did, you got I this do. stupid ass office. What do, we, yeah. what do we do with this place with all these offices? Hence why this commercial yeah. real estate business is like in the shitter. Wow. I wonder what happens with that. Because it doesn't seem like that's going to change. But there are a lot of CEOs that are supposedly pushing all this stuff. I keep reading I articles guess. every I think day. About the interesting thing is, you know how every, like, people always adapt, right? Mm -hmm. Things, n Nothing just goes... If something's losing money, people don't just go, well, I guess we'll just lose money forever. Right. So... There is going to be a point, and maybe it's happening now, where you're going to start seeing something done with this commercial <laughs> property. Like some, like if if things stay vacant, they're not just going to hold on to that for 15 years. Yeah, they're going to turn that into so. Was, nah, they're probably going to hold on to it. I was reading some dipshit comedian on Twitter <laughs> saying that they should turn all that into housing. Great for homeless people. Yeah, that is very. Positive. Oh, that's really good. If you don't own the building, you yeah. fucking communist. Yeah. Like, what are you talking? About? I mean, I gotta say that. I'll... <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> if you don't own the building, <laughs> how many of us are gonna ever own buildings? These guys are fucking incredible. Anyway, the funny thing about this, right, is that this is clear example of that. These guys clearly don't have any friends that work normal jobs. All their friends happen to be fucking comedians and entrepreneurs and business owners and stuff, which is what it is, it's cool. But the funny thing about this is that for the longest time, Rogan would get on my nerves and he still does because he does this thing where he constantly says every person should be going out there and starting their own business and becoming an entrepreneur and I think the example he uses is like making their own furniture and selling it online making their own handmade knives and selling it essentially say basically saying that everybody has a potential to be their own boss at some way shape or form which is really idiotic and really kind of naive and really doesn't kind of address the wider problems um, that are at hand that stop people from doing so. And the fact that some people don't want to do that. Some people just want to earn a living, right? Some people enjoy the jobs that they do. There's nothing wrong with having a job and going to a nine to five uh, or going to an office and clocking in and clocking out. But for Rogan, that's death, right? The idea of working in the office is complete death. Okay, no problem. But in the same fucking, you know, in the same breath, he's also the person who essentially is bemused why people don't want to return to the offices. 
if anything, this whole pandemic, one of the only kind of saving graces, the only sort of silver lining in this whole entire awful thing that we all had to go through where we all were robbed of like two and a half years of our lives. Some of us lost loved ones and family members and we all had to kind of, you know, suffer mentally and physically and shit. Some of us still haven't recovered from that fucking time in our lives. The only good thing to come from it is that for the most part, if you live in the Western world, most places have changed their attitude towards working from home which is allows a lot of people to essentially be very um, kind of flexible with where they work, how much money they make, their career projects, you know, prospects, and also just improves their quality of life. I was somebody for the longest time who was trying to figure out a way that would allow me to essentially spend a lot more time working from home so I could do stuff like this. So I could be streaming and shit, so I could whatever. I could do other bits of content. I could go and DJ because when I was working a regular nine to five like everyone else was working, I have to commute. I have to get to work. I have to go to a different place to get there. I have to spend time there, maybe spend time after work to do certain things, which kind of took up time. So by the time you got back home at 7 or 8 p.m., the last thing you want to do is to be entrepreneurial. The last thing you want to do is to crush it. The last thing you want to do is to hustle. You just want to relax, watch some Netflix, scratch your balls and go to sleep. So it kind of takes the you know eagerness of you to do those kind of things out. The moment working from home was installed and was an option for people during the pandemic, it opened up low of option for people it allowed people to go on vacations it allowed people to kind of maybe decide to start a family to maybe decide to go and get a pet loads of things like that happen especially in london that you couldn't do because most of the time you spend nine to fucking eight p.m outside of the house the last thing you want to do every day doing especially if you live with a couple and that person spending maybe more time outside the house is have a pet or a child that just stays at home alone for ages or maybe having to pay for childcare or whatever it may be. So working from home kind of opened up that possibility for people to do loads of interesting things with their lives and get them a lot more kind of work-life satisfaction and work-life balance. But for these guys, because they've never had you know the struggle of working a nine to five for a long period of time because they've never had to rely on that to kind of make the majority of their kind of you know take home wages, they don't understand why somebody who's used to now working from home for the last two and a half years is dreading the possibility of having to go back to the office not only is the fucking travel cost crazy and um, with inflation now most ticket prices are up even in london in terms of you know travel cards and monthly passes and shit all of that is up so you're having to pay more than you were before to go to work but it just is going to completely change the life that you've now been accustomed to for the last two and a half years that's allowed you to do more things outside of work and for the most of us most of us myself included I've noticed that I'm way more productive working from home. It's as simple as that. Every time now that, you know, I have work and we have to kind of work from, you know, in the office one day per week, because we don't see each other, that's the kind of negative side of working from home, because we don't see each other in person a lot, maybe once a month, when you do meet each other at work that one day a week on a Wednesday or a Friday, guess what happens? you're all chatting, you're all gossiping, you're all talking because you haven't seen each other in a while. You want to touch each other's faces, hang around, joke around. I can't honestly see a future where it would make sense to go back to the offices full time for people. Unless you work in an industry where, or in a company where the CEO can really illustrate and demonstrate, hey, you guys are just not working well enough from home and you're kind of taking the piss, maybe. But for the most part, most people who don't want that privilege taken away from them, they're not taking it for granted and they're actually working hard. They're actually making sure that they do their jobs so that they have that ability to do so. So these guys just don't have any understanding of it. They don't have any real friends that work in a workplace so they don't get it. You know, that's the main issue. These guys just don't get it. And it's fucking frustrating. I absolutely hate it. Um, I just wish, you know, they would have more real life friends that would maybe push back on some of these things that they say because they legitimately think people are skiving off of work and don't want to work because they're working from home it's fucking bizarre man like that's not the case at all if anything working from home now makes it way more what you call it it makes it way more manageable to have jobs that pay like horrible wages like i remember working in offices and having to be you know if you're i don't know imagine you're on like 20 grand a, a year or something right entry-level job and you're commuting to work every single day and you're paying for rent and you're trying to have a social life where is that money you're making where's it all going where's it all going it's all going to fucking thin air so now that you have the ability to work from home you can kind of have a somewhat decent life um, working from home making 20 grand a year 
you can maybe spend a little money on going to a concert, going to a festival, going on a vacation. That is possible. But when you're making 20 grand a year and you have to commute every day, it's not so easy to do something. So these guys just don't get it. They don't understand. Um, they really do live privileged lives that most of us are probably not going to be able to live and they don't really understand or see that point of view either which is the other side that's a little bit concerning and upsetting as well it's never like they understand that they kind of come from a point of privilege at all they just see it as like yeah this is just how it is and you know other people that are complaining are just being fucking babies and shit which is really disappointing but hey what can you do what can you do